Hey guys, Lloyd here from iGen Entrepreneur. Hope you're well. This is stemming from top tip number five, where you need to pick up the phone and start dialing. Top tip number six. Before you pick up the phone, have an idea of what you're going to say. So I play a lot of chess and in chess they talk about having a bad plan is better than having no plan at all. So you need to have an idea of what you're going to say. There is a lot to this and we'll be, Emma and I will maybe talk about this later on in the month. So have an idea of what you're going to say while you're calling, what you want to get from this interaction and what's in it for both parties. What's in it for them? What's in it for you? So there's that. And kind of in this top tip, you need to learn a little bit of business to business lingo. So it's not the same across the country. As I said, I'm based in Ireland. If I talked about carriage paid, they wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about. Whereas they would know exactly what I'm talking about if I'm talking about X works. So this, that type of thing, if you're doing this yourself, will come with time. It'll embolden you and, you know, make you a much more credible person on the phone. It does take time to build this up. So to kind of bolt this on to top tip number, top tip number five, yeah, you need to have an idea of what you're going to say. You need to listen. Two ears, one mouth, as they say. So you should listen twice as much as you talk. So you need to be present, you need to listen, and you need to have an idea of why you're calling and what's in it for both parties. So there, that's a very, very high level overview of that, um, that process. Um, we can go into a little bit more detail further down the month when we're kind of, kind of getting into the nitty gritty of things. So yeah, learn the lingo, have a plan, and listen to what the person said on the phone. See you next time for top tip number seven. Take care, guys.